And now we're going to move on to time stealers. What would be a time stealer that you would think of? Uh, some automatically come to mind would be technology, uh, TV, Facebook, Pinterest, uh, that takes our time. But I really want you to think deeper. What could be some more uh, other time stealers? Possibly a, a hobby or a special interest that you have? Mine is uh, sewing. I love to sew. I have a sewing machine. It's set up all the time. And, and especially during uh, the Christmas time or up leading up to birthdays, I, I'm always doing projects. And that, you know, where I love that, uh, that could be a time stealer. I'm taking time away from my marriage. And so that is something Scott and I have to talk about. I'm going to ask him, is that a time stealer? Do you think that is? What about some unfinished business? That would be like a big decision that you have to make, but you just don't have the the hour or the two hours to really talk it through. And so every time you're back together, that's just kind of hanging over there. You, you're always thinking about it, but just never the right time to talk about it. That can be a time stealer because it's just, you're just thinking about that and you're, you're not able to enjoy each other completely when you're together. Now that we've talked about the different ways that uh, things can steal from your couple time together, we'd like you guys to write it out. Uh, each of you are going to make a list of the time stealers that you notice and chances are you're going to be able to identify for your spouse some things that they didn't know for themselves. So please do that, but please be gentle with one another because likely the time stealer is something they genuinely enjoy doing. And Part of giving to your spouse is giving them time to do those things too. It's all about balance, but communicating that balance and both being on the same page about where the time is going is the key to making it work.